This question is asking us to provide the major products for this reaction. So the first thing to note here is we have this um, secondary carbon that's attached to a good leaving group. We know that the uh, chlorine atom can leave as a chloride anion because the reaction is taking place in a polar solvent with uh, acetone. So because we have this carbon with a good leaving group, that's a pretty good indication that we're going to have uh, some type of substitution or elimination reaction. And in order to figure out which of those we're going to have, we're just going to go through a list of things. We're going to have to check the nucleophile, see whether it's a weak or strong nucleophile. We're also going to have to check whether that nucleophile is um, a strong base or not, because often you'll have a uh, very good nucleophile that's also a strong base, and that'll end up giving you more of a, an elimination product instead of a substitution product. And we're also going to have to look at the solvent. So the nucleophile here is this selenide molecule, and selenides are like ethers, except you have a, a selenium atom in the place of an oxygen atom. And because selenium's in the same group as oxygen, we know that it's going to have the same number of valence electrons, so we have these two lone pairs that makes this molecule a very good nucleophile. Um, in fact, I guess the selenium atom would be more nucleophilic than oxygen because it's larger and therefore more polarizable. So we have a good nucleophile. Uh, next thing to check is whether it's a strong base, and this is not a strong base. Typically your strong bases are going to have a negative charge, like a hydroxide ion. So because it's not a strong base, we know that we're not going to have an elimination reaction. So we're basically stuck between SN1 and SN2, and we know this reaction can go SN1 because it's a secondary carbon that can form a secondary carbocation. And it can also go SN2 because there isn't enough steric hindrance to uh, block a uh, backside attack from our good nucleophile with the selenide. So what's going to decide between those two is going to be the solvent. And in this case we have acetone, <coughs> which is a polar aprotic solvent. And you should know that polar aprotic solvents favor SN2 reactions but the uh, protic solvents, like uh, ethanol, would favor a SN1 reaction. So because of the solvent here, we're going to end up going via a SN2 mechanism. So to come up with the products, you can just think of what the mechanism is. You have a uh, backside attack, and then you kick off the chloride ion, and that would give us this guy as a product. Attached to propyl. And we now have a positive charge on the selenium atom. And I guess I'll also draw the counter ion. And this would be our major product for this reaction.